Illuminati shit is real and people should stop joking about it. Lakini wapa Kenya wapo ambao pengine wamefanya hivyo. Si ndio? Wako wengi bro. Mimi nilinifanyikia nikiwa 23 24 years. Nambia mambo inaweza kuwa poa kwako in the next one or two months. Cut the story short. I did whatever I did. Hakuna mm-hmm. sacrifice ya mtu yote. And I bought my first car. Ba nikizidi kuomba kitu moja inaenda. Mambo yanaharibika. Mimi yeah. <laughs> naambia watu waache kutake hiki kitu kama joke. Inakuwaaje watu wangu nguvu mimi naitwa presenter Ali you are entertainment PA and by the way the A is always for amazing siku zote natiabidi kuhakikisha kwamba nakuletea hiyo stories tofauti kutoka entertainment stories kwenda kwa human interest stories lakini cha muhimu zaidi ni wewe uhakikishe kwamba una subscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele kwa ajili ya kupata updates zote kutoka kwa the entertainment PA anyways leo niko na mwanangu wa nguvu the beat king mwenyewe imenikuwa ni muda tu hatujapatana imekuwa ni muda tu hatujapiga story na yeye and that's why leo nimekuja hapa kwa ajili ya kuzungumza naye. Na kwaje bro? Niko poa my bro siku mingi manzi. Mingi hatujaonana umenitupa sana. <laughs> the last time I don't know the last three or two years. Yeah, tumeonana nakumbuka 2019. Uh-huh. Tumeonana 2019 lakini natumai umekuwa fresh. Yeah, mean niko poa nashukuru yeah. manzi. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still grinding, pushing yeah, bro. Pushing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last time nimeona post yako status sijui ilikuwa ni caption ulikuwa umesema kwamba there's no giving up eh? unasukuma kabisa na mimi nikapenda sana anyways uh, imekuwa ni muda pia haujakuwa ukitokea kwenye interviews umekuwa na ukimya fulani ni kitu kipi kimekuwa kikiendelea first of all um ile have kuokoka sijui umekuwa mkicheki hizo story kwa mtandao mm-hmm. eh ni juu si ati ya kusota mm-hmm. ni juu <laughs> <laughs> eh ni juu ya um mambo fulani fulani zenye zimekuwa mm-hmm. zikinifanyikia na zimekuwa ziki zikinipeleka mbio mm-hmm. yeah kwa hiyo ni pengine unaweza tudakulia tu what exactly happened in your life mpaka ukasema we round hii itabidi niokoke mhm eh ndakwambiaje sasa my bro mm-hmm. but haijakuwa easy ajakuwa rais unajua ukishafanyia wasanii mziki unaona wasanii wanafanya poa mm-hmm. uh, ni kitu fiti yeah. unasikia yenyewe kuna kitu unafanya so nili have kutulia kwanza mm-hmm. unajua nilikuwa na studio pale ika yeah. uh, ika have ku sinaelewa yeah. ni ya management yeah. but that's not the main story mm-hmm. kuna Um, itakuwa ni kwa channel yako peke yake yeah, si ndio eh? yeah, yeah. eh, so um, mwaka gani tu ilikuwa um, semi ya covid pingine ama before covid semi ya covid before hata niingia kwa industry fit mm-hmm. mm, kuna mambo kibao sana nili you know that, that, that time nilikuwa na stay na KRG KRG the don kule ngongro yeah 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 so uh, I used to stay there na fanya fanya muziki kidogo kidogo pale Mmm nikaangalia nikaona hasa si poa Yeah si si poa sana since una una unaelewa una kuna pesa inaingia Yeah Um nika have commit na management flani ili 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 ili, ili tokea tu yani yeah ajoni nimekuwa nikiona interviews za, zako pia na kuna wase wanaongea kuhusu kitu kama illuminati ehe uh-huh, uh-huh. ehe na to me uh-huh. um za kuambia hawa wase waache ku joke uh-huh. waache waache ku chase clout hiyo uh-huh. kitu ni real bro really yeah that illuminati shit is real and people su- should stop joking about it wow. yeah. yeah so hiyo ndo message naweza waambia na mimi nilinifanyikia nikiwa 23 24 years mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. yeah now i'm i'm turning 30 that is for 7 years ili kufanyikiaje pengine 
So, uh, kuna dem plan ya likam mzungu. Tuka have a meeting. Tukaongea hapo niitwaje hiyo mall. Na mall hiyo yenye iko Ngong Road. Okay. Junction Mall. Yeah. Okay. And then akaanza kuniambia yo mbona mbona uko hapa mbona maisha maisha inakupelekaje mm-hmm. like what's happening you are a dope producer you can, you can sing kaniambia naweza ku link na big musicians wenye wamepitia through me na wakakuwa successful you understand mm-hmm. and um, the first musician mwenye nilikomili alinilink na yeye kwa simu hapo hapo kampigia ilikuwa ni nani huyu jamaa nisha nisha isema anafanya project na yeye DJ Khalid DJ Khalid mhm mm, wa Kenya akasema oh magic sengo na chess cloud whatever nini yeah. but alimpigia na tuka tuka tukaongea mm-hmm. and um akaniambia mambo inaweza kuwa poa kwako in the next one or two months if you want that fast eh You understand? Mimi na Jamil nilikuwa mtu napenda kuomba nini? Eh. Eh, nilikuwa naomba sana bro. And I still believe in God. So to cut the story short, I did whatever I did. Hakuna sacrifice mtu yote. And I bought my first car that month. Kwa hiyo ulikubali, tuseme ulikubali mara ya kwanza. Mimi naambia watu wacha kutake kitu kama joke. Na hii dunia tunaishi sasa hii. Vitu vitu zime change. You understand? Don't don't joke with something like Illuminati because you don't know. Mimi niko na mashida kibao bro. Yaani you know. Yeah. Kuna kanunua gari yangu ya kwanza, nikanunua ya pili, nikanunua ya tatu. You know ilifika level pesa ikakuwa iko fresh kabisa nini nikaanza ku kujipata napiga sherehe sana unaona pale studio inafanya poa nini management mambo mingi mingi nini e, nikaanza kuomba bro ndio nilianza kuomba nikafanya accident okay mhm so from that day when you lift an accident up at the road mambo ya kuanga poa mm. you understand yeah ai ngarudi kazi nikaendelea kufanya muziki yeah. bado na communicate na ule ule nani bado ule madam sasa yeah. mm. aliona kila kitu ilifanyika na nini juu nilikuwa peke yangu kwa hiyo barabara and sikuelewa what happened lani niliona gari iko half nimefanya accident nyingine mbaya sana hapo nikamwambia yeah. Mungu asante nikaanza ku kuomba nini nini kidogo kidogo ma, mambo ikaanza ku, ku change change nini no no so um utakwambia je hata sijui ni kuende ni kupe ni kueleza ni ku nikufafanulia je hii story ndio uelewa yeah. yeah so nikakuwa saved ilifanyikia wapi hapa hapa Nairobi ah hapa Nairobi bro okay. so the moment the more nikiomba nikizidi kuomba kitu moja inaenda mambo yanaharibika yeah ukizidi kuomba wow. kitu moja inaenda ingine inaenda ingine inaenda you understand yeah. Yeah so kuna Mungu na kuna hiyo kitu. The more the more you pray the more you lose vitu ambavyo ulive gain bila Mungu. Wow. Nikafanyika kwa muda upi? Ah uh, imefanyika Imefanyika for a while. Na kuna time fulani huyu jamaa. Ai do nani? Uh, Eric Cross. Yeah, yeah, Eric Cross. Mm-hmm. Na time flani amekuja Kenya aka 
anipigia sana alikuwa anataka to meet mkama alikuwa sharp for information about magic anger he has been you know amekuwa uh, akifanya hivi ne akasema tunaweza patana alafu we talk about this wase wengi bro like watu wengi wamefanya kanya nilifanya you know wa hapa Kenya pengine kama si, si, si lazima utaje majina lakini wa hapa Kenya wapo ambao pengine wamefanya hivyo si ndio wako wengi bro hmm? so uh-huh. nikaanza ku communicate na huyu recruits for for a while connect tu naweza hata kupatia ujikonfirmia wewe mwenyewe na Instagram yangu Lakini unajua wa Kenya wanasema ngani cloud chasing everything yeah. magic anger is cloud chasing eh yeah. wanafikiria kwamba unatafuta kiki <coughs> unatafuta kiki but yo manze huko e, mtaani watu wamesota huko ghetto place nimetoka uh-huh. vijana wengi wanataka hiyo do na understand uh-huh. mimi nilikuwa nataka hiyo do na ubaya sana naona na mimi mtu nilikuwa naimba gospel mm-hmm. before ni mm-hmm. Before you about talk yeah, yeah. Mm. So niliachana na hiyo mambo ya sijui oh Illuminati nini mambo ikaenda venye ilienda Na uh, acha kwanza nikukonfirmie huyu jamaa Mambo ikaenda venye ilienda na bado nimeshikilia imani my brother because rumors ambazo you know pengine zilikuwa mtaani uh, zilikuwa zinasema kwamba eh, magic anger alikuwa anafanya projects kubwa na wasanii wakubwa lakini hakuwa anawalipisha that's why ilifikia pengine muda alikuwa anawalipisha msanii anafaa kujiambia ni aje magic anger umenifanyia mimbo kubwa sana at least sh- ku appreciate na ile kidogo you understand but kenyan musicians they don't appreciate bro aise hata kupigia simu kuambia ni aje shika hata 20k ama shika hata 10k kwa kazi yenu umenifanyia you get yeah, because nakumbuka vizuri kuanzia kama 2017 mpaka 2020 sidhani kama kuna producer mkenya i mean kuna producer hapa Kenya ambaye amefanya hits kama wewe nakumbuka pia uh, kuna muda Magix Enga ame declare kwamba red card yake ya msanii eh, eh, kufanya ngoma it was 40000 ni kwa more expensive my brother ni jua njia zenye natumia kupata pesa na watu wenye nasaidia hadi wajulikane they don't appreciate wanaenda kuniongea huko msanii kama Aro boy say i'm any block siku mkosea mimi nilimwambia niaje my brother hukulipa kijana wangu session anakula kwangu na mfanyie kila kitu at least mpatie hata 5000 ya chakula akani block you understand Mwimbo wake ni yenye ilimtoa ni hiyo digidigi. Digidigi nilifanya wewe. Unajua nilifanya nini ndio kwesta? Ajui. Yeye alijipata yeye ni superstar. To get. Yeah. Okay. Na, na na pengine tu you know uh, kuna watu walisema pia kwamba uh, eti management ambayo ilikuwa nayo ndo il, uh, ilikunyang'anya vitu vyote ambavyo ilikuwa imekupea kwa hivyo hiyo that is not the truth kweli ni huu ambao unasema kwamba ulikuwa ukiingia kwenye maombi mambo yanaenda vibaya mimi na management ili, mambo ilienda venye ilienda and actually hata nowadays hata tu, tu, ni, nimetafutana na huyo manager wangu tunaongea so hiyo ya business venye ilienda it's okay unaisi nime nimerudi nime sasa na produce muziki mm-hmm. kawaida bila mambo mingi you understand mm-hmm. na nimeokoka mm-hmm. you get yeah. so kwa hiyo kwa hiyo unaisi kwamba hiyo management mambo yalienda vibaya kwa sababu ulianza kuomba ama si kwa sababu nilianza kuomba mm-hmm. sijui yani mambo ilienda tu i don't know and th- th- there is a time anger you you put a very alarming post kwenye mitandao and uh, you said like i nik eh rich forever wow mtazamaji ki kweli <laughs> ninayoona hapa ni eh <laughs> kwa, kwa, kwa eh <laughs> Wa oh, hey. <laughs> it's 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 actually new queen mimi nimeona conversation yake hapo na reach forever recross na wow 
Kwa hivyo hiki kitu kipo. Unajua watu kama watu wengine kama mimi unajua tuamini kabisa. Hauamini iko. Naona kama tu kama story nini vitu kama hivyo. Jambo YouTube iko inalipa. Unajua sasa unalipa na YouTube vizuri sana. Jambo <laughs> <laughs> uh, uende kanisa ama ufanye kwenye utafanya upate pesa. You understand? So uh, mimi niliona Aish bro nitaomoka lini mashida mtaani bro yani you understand? Sina gari sina kitu yote joy ikabidi. Na pengine mlikuwa mna, mna, mna session za kuomba ama mnaenda maombi yao ama kulikuwaaje? Ani, ni ni damu tu. Unachukua damu yako. Eh unadungo kisu na tolewa damu. Wow. Na umesema kwamba wapo wasanii ambao wapo Kenya. Kisu, bro. Eh. Unaweza katuonyesha? Ukanionyesha mimi pengine. <laughs> Wa. Eh bado na Eh. Hiyo ilikuwa inadungwa ina, ina, ina kama after miezi mingapi? Ah uh, unadungwa tu hapo unachukua damu kidogo hiyo peke yake bro. Kwa hiyo wewe hukutoa sacrifice yoyote. Nilijitoa mimi. Na how how difficult was it kuokoka kwa sababu wanasemaga kwamba ukishaingia kutoka so rais. Ndio maana mambo inaharibika ukiomba. Mm. Kwa hivyo unaambua kwamba uchague kwamba utakuwa ndani mambo yaende vizuri ama utoke mambo ya rudi yalivyokuwa kitamu. Na wewe you okay sasa hii mambo yamerudi mrama na uko na bado chance pengine ya kuenda huko ni nini kinakuzuia? Napigana tu nao bro. Mm. Mm. Kwa hivyo sasa hii unapambana kimwanaume. Eh, napigana nao, napigana na maombi. Mm-hmm. Ayo, na jamaa mambo itakuwa fit. Wow. Mm. Lakini beat king ni yule yule. Ai enga enga manje 24/7. Mimi nakuwa nimekukubali sana and I just want to know kwa sababu tu ya vitu ambavyo vimekuwa kwenye mitandao. Wewe ulijitolea kama miongoni mwa producers ambao walisukuma sana Gengeton. Na Gengeton was actually a very big thing, you know, tuseme kama before COVID. And Gengeton iliingizia ilibadilisha masa, eh, maisha ya wasanii wengine. Kuna wasanii walikuwa na perform na over 100,000. Hao wasanii wakija pale studio ilikuwa mnafanya e, kazi kishikaji ama ilikuwa wanalipa mimi nikikuambia ukweli wasanii wengi wenye wamepitia Magix Enga na wakakuwa successful wakapanda ndege ilikuwa wanawafanyia mziki tu yani wewe ukipata utarudi utanisaidia una get wanaenda wanarudi wanaenda wanarudi lakini hakuna kitu wanawacha but still na wasaidia anga that's my job to help hata ni sote mimi haijalishi na kufanya ngoma yako utaomoka na inihusu Yeah. Na sasa hivi eh, umesema kwamba Beat King ni yule yule enga enga. Eh, sasa bado unafanya production ya muziki na unaimba bado. Tempo ya manze ime, imerudi sasa hii manze. Nilikuwa mm-hmm. pia kuna kabisa mimi na Matrax, ni Matrax kidogo wako busy. Na familia na nini mambo mingi but I'm trying to push Magic Empire. Na vijana wajichunge sana na industry ya sasa hii usione mtu akona pesa unaanza ku you understand yeah. wow. kwa hivyo watu wasikimbilie pesa za haraka yeah, wasikimbilie pesa za haraka tengeneza pesa yako polepole ukiomba Mungu yeah. Mm. Yeah. na kuna, kuna, kuna muda pia kumetokea wasanii tu kadhaa ambao ni upcoming ambao walikuja wakasema kwamba kuna mtu ambaye anajifanya Magix Enga alafu anawaibia pesa sijui kama ulipata hizo tetesi nili have kwenda sasa mtaani ni wata, ni deal nao mimi mwenyewe. Mhm. Uh-huh. nilienda nika report wapi everywhere. You understand? Kasarani, hakuna kuna polisi hawana hiyo kesi. Mm. Station mingi sana za e-page inatumika ku, kuibia wasanii. You understand? Yako ya Facebook ya kitambo I think. Eh ile ilihakiwa kitambo. Yeah. Inatumika kuibia wasanii nika report numbers nikawapatia. But hiyo time unajua page yangu iko verified. Mm. But now I'm verified on Facebook magic angle kenda waangalia hapo yeah and um, the page is doing good uh-huh. yeah. amazing na mtu ambaye pengine anataka kuja kwa studio za magic anger ama kufanya project na magic anger eh, you know what is the uh, mipangilio inakuwaaje anaku reach kwenye mitandao ama mko na studio za ambazo eh, anakuja yeye mwenyewe atanipigia simu tu mm, yeah. namba iko hapo hivyo kwa hiyo page yoyote iko na blue tick that's my page hizo okay. zingine zote utaibiwa eh yani wase wajichunge yeah. na wasanii ambao umesema kwamba you know pengine wako illuminati eh, pengine wana wako kwenye hayo mambo ya ushetani 
wengine pia pengine wa, kuna wasanii ambao walikuwa famous kupitia kwa mikono yako wewe utawaambia nini mimi nitawaambia inaambia kwa kuna msali sema kama unataka kukula <laughs> wewe kula <laughs> ukitaka kula wewe kula eh lakini ni sawa Eh, sawa tu. Nilipitia Magic Enga na ukakuwa successful na ukapanda ndege, mm-hmm. alafu jai rudi kunitafuta. Mhm. Jiulize uko wapi sasa hii? <laughs> oh, that that looks like a relatable <laughs> thing, eh? Kwa sababu nikija <laughs> nikijaribu kuangalia wasanii wengi ambao pengine walipitia kwa mikono yako, hata saa hii ni kama you know Okay, sitaki nizungumze mengi nionekane kwamba nasema vitu ambavyo unavifahamu na uende ikawa si vifahamu. Anyways, nimekuwa nikipiga story na Beat King mwenyewe, Magic Enga. Zungumza na mashabiki wako, kuna watu ambao you know they've been holding it down since day one, kuna watu ambao wamekukubali mpaka leo wanakufuatilia. Eh, maneno yako ni, ni yapi kwao? Wazidi kufuatilia Magic Enga manze mi have projects. Mimi natengeneza beats manze all the time. Na na kuanga ready kufanya industry ya Kenya iende international bro mimi watu tunaongeaga nao ni wase wa big na si kuringa mm-hmm. na nyona sema magic senga amesota mm-hmm. pia ni sawa bro mm-hmm. but mimi niko bie mm-hmm. yeah uh, i still drive the same car yenye nilijununulia mimi mwenyewe mm-hmm. and i still have my family wako wako fiti yeah. na bado umeokoka eh yeah, na nimeokoka sasa hii Mungu mbele manze yani sasa hivi kuja studio mm-hmm ndo kufanyia hit song lakini sasa ni kwa njia ya ya Mungu ya Mungu bwana eh yeah. yeah. wow. amazing imekuwa ni muda mzuri uh, pengine kama kuna kitu sija kuuliza na ungependa kuzungumzia ama uko saa kuna kitu sija kuuliza ungependa kuzungumzia beef yote na msanii yote ah mimi sina kama hiyo ya Arab boy beef hata Arab boy sina beef na mimi si mchuki lakini sasa madharo yake after nime nime work na yeye hiyo madharo itaisha unajua industry ni ile ile tu mimi namuombea Mungu afanye mziki nimecheki pale anaendelea vizuri na Nadia Mukami. Mimi <laughs> na bless tu yani uh-huh. wazidi ku win. Amazing. Uh-huh. Exactly. Asante sana Enga Enga eh, kwa muda wako. Thank you pia kwa eh, kuamua kwamba utakuwa able kushia story yako pekee kwenye presenter Ali. Big shout out kwa wanangu nguvu eh, Eric Mukabwa na Alishaz wako behind the camera. Mimi naitwa presenter Ali na pita nao since day one ndani ya masala yote burudani in the entertainment scene nasalia kwa the entertainment PA and by the way the A is always for amazing na siku zote ukitaka kufanikiwa uspende kusifiwa.